Over the weekend, Prince Harry and Meghan joined the activist Malala for a video chat in honour of International Day of the Girl. Well, How were you different. spending your time in COVID? Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> on, 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 on Zoom. <laughs> on Zoom been, call. On video conference on calls. Zoom. <laughs> but outside of that, with our little one. We were both there for his first steps, his first run, his first fall, his first everything. Oh. And it's just fantastic because I think in, in so many ways we are fortunate to be able to have this time to watch him grow. And in the absence of COVID, we would be traveling and working more externally and would miss a lot of those moments. Well, Royal Editor Russell Myers joins me now. It was a lovely interview, actually. It was, actually, it wasn't really it? It really was. I mean, she was brilliant in yeah. me, you know, chatting yeah. to them, but it was just like three friends. It was, yeah. And Megan's done stuff with her International Day of the Girl before. She, that's the sort of platform she yeah. talks about. You know, girls' education is very, very passionate about that. Obviously, Malala, global ambassador for the subject. Uh, She's amazing. Absolutely Love incredible woman. woman. I mean, so <laughs> at uh, Oxford University, living in the UK now, but a global, global superstar yeah. and ambassador for the cause um however you know not without controversy unfortunately sure. you know we're talking about this again sort of megan talking about uh you know the first steps of archie which was really nice harry talking about um potentially that he regretted not necessarily taking all the opportunities he was afforded from his very posh school at eton which is quite good i think he's opening right. up a little okay. bit but um some people saying you know maybe megan shouldn't have made it about herself because she was saying you know we completely understand what everybody is going through and you know we, we know what's going on here. However, listen, they're living in an 11 million pound mansion in Montecito and there are people living in tower blocks who couldn't go out throughout the whole lockdown and I think it all gets lost in translation sometimes. Right, I so understand. It's a bit unfortunate, but when we get back to the sort of the, the nub of what they were talking about, really, really uh, positive message. And also, she looked Amazing. Don't they all do? I mean, Absolutely this is in the sun, you know. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. I mean, really beautiful. On a very shallow note, just thought I'd throw that in. Um, now, look, Harry might yes. be coming home for Christmas to well, face the music, well, the wrath of Granny. I'm not too sure whether he will want to, to be honest, because he's in trouble. You don't with mess with the Queen, you know. You certainly don't. <laughs> and now your Granny will be wrapping his knuckles because yeah. he's been making a few controversial statements, hasn't Indeed. he? Indeed. They waded into the sort of Donald Trump without mentioning Donald Trump, the most important mm -hmm. election for decades. Um, and, you know, maybe he's in a little bit hot water because they, did they put uh, the Netflix deal in front of Granny to sort of sign off on it? We're not too sure. Um, however, people at the staff at Frogmore Cottage have been told to prepare the house just for Harry. Now, is does that mean that he's coming back? Megan's not coming back. Right. She's actually spoken about being home back in the US, so maybe she's going to stay over there with baby Archie, which would be a big shame because the Queen hasn't seen the little baby I know, so and long. they'll all want to see the wee one. Of course. Yeah, I mean, they're all, you know, like grannies, uncles, aunties, all of that. They exactly. are a family, a strangely dysfunctional family, <laughs> but, but like most of them, to be honest, like, like most of us. What about this thing about um, Megan and Harry working with Simon Cowell? What well, all this about? is very interesting then. Right. This, this emerged over the weekend. Now, Simon Cowell is obviously on the back of a very successful uh, BGT over the weekend. Uh, now, does he want to get part of the next Netflix deal. He wants to get okay. into Netflix. They've just signed this big mega deal. Lots of rumours swirling around that he is actually trying to do a deal with them, maybe a documentary. Who knows? So, okay. you know, so whatever Simon touches normally turns to gold and they are the hot ticket at the moment. So maybe watch your space. Very interesting. She also talked about being trolled. Yes. And how horrible that is. And I, and I yes. hear that because it's a horrible thing to have to deal with. And I would say to her, don't look at anything. Just don't. Well, on that, on that note, she has previously said she doesn't listen to anything, doesn't read anything positive or negative. And mm. this is a bit of a retraction, really, because she, uh, she appeared on a podcast at the weekend called the Teenage Therapy Podcast. It's oh, five yeah. teenagers in the States. They invited them into their home. And uh, speaking about, you know, the issue of online trolling, negativity, you know, they're speaking about it quite a lot. However... Again, making it about herself, unfortunately, and talking about, you know, I was the most trolled person in the world. Now, there's been since some research on saying that she was, actually wasn't the most trolled person in the world in 2019. Right. Regardless of all this, it's always awful for this online negativity. And I think Megan should take a leaf out of her own book and just, just ignore, ignore it, it if you can. Absolutely ignore it. Do you know, all of this kind of overshadowed um, Prince William's TED talk. Yes. Because he was doing a TED talk at the weekend and actually... Really well done him. I mean, he's, he's, he's kind of like following his father's footsteps, really talking about climate change, yeah, and it's yeah. really important. It is massively important, and he's been speaking about this decade that we have to try and change the climate emergency. We have this really important time here now, and he was sitting uh, on the, at the base of a thousand-year-old oak tree at Windsor Castle. I think we've got a little bit of a clip about him speaking. ...are in peril. This oak 
has stood here for centuries, but never has it faced a decade like this. We start this new decade knowing that it is the most consequential period in history. The science is irrefutable. If we do not act in this decade, the damage that we have done will be irreversible. See, I think he's brilliant doing this. Yeah. I really do. He's got three little children and he wants them to grow up in a world... Well, he wants them to be able to have the chance to grow well, up exactly. anyway. Exactly, and he has spoken about becoming a father, so no, it changed really his outlook on yeah. the world, you know, yeah. and he's becoming, he's taking the mantle over from his father, really, uh, talking to trees, which we know Charles <laughs> likes to do, sort of shaking them and saying, good luck, tree. <laughs> but uh, on a serious note, he is really involved in this. He's talking about Earthshot, launching this big programme over the next year, yeah. the fantastic ITV documentary. If you haven't seen, you've got to check it out because it's an absolute triumph. Him, uh, the, the documentary crew following him for two years, talking about, you know, we all have a part to play yeah. in changing the course of the planet. So check it out and listen to William. Absolutely. Thank you, Russell. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, good for him. It's great stuff. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.